Good afternoon everybody, here we are again, two o'clock on Monday, the 29th of June. And a oh, bit of an overcast day today I'm afraid, but it doesn't matter because we're indoors. A uh, cup of tea at the side as we do normally and we're all raring to go. And of course with lots of friends involved too. So hi there everybody, brilliant to sort of see you all again. Oh hi Shirley, I got your message about red tiles. And um, I'll have a look after this and see uh, see what I've got on the shelves. If I have, I'll, I'll message you and let you know. If not, there's some coming. Uh, but there's, I'm just waiting for some, uh, some paper that I'm trying to come on to come on in. It should be this week, so I'll let you know. So, okay. I thought I'd go with a black tile today. Not that it suits my mood because it's a bit grey out there. But we've not done one for a while. And you know how much I love doing black it's it's that mystery isn't it and working with the white so as you can see here then i've uh, i've put my name you know number and date on and i've got a few items here so i've got my regular pencil because i'm going to need that for doing a little bit of marking out i've got my white uh secure pen i've got my white there i look see it's still written on and it's still clean my white Tortillon, to be fair, it's the same as the other tortillons, it's just that that one that I've been using for graphite and you can see that it's got um, a <laughs> sort of a black edge where that's nice and clean still. You can file them off and clean them off, but you, you don't need to when you're using graphite. And I've also got my white chalky pastel -y pencil as well. If you're not going to use black and you, know, you want to use another colour, go ahead. Don't think you've got to do that just because I have. Uh, it's just that instead of using the white pen, you would use your black pen. Uh, and if I'm going to use the, the white pencil to sort of do a bit of shadowing, then you'd use your regular pencil. So please don't, don't worry about it at all. So here we go. I have got another tile here and it's just purely I'm going to use it to sort of mark out because I know you, you people out there like structure. So regular pencil, look, I've just got a tile. And the way I like to use these tiles is because when I'm, I want to draw a straight edge, I can line it up with the bottom here. And then I can go ahead and draw a line. Now you see how much of a gap is there? Actually, it might be better if I put, I don't know, say and put something else underneath it. Give it a second. Yeah, you can see that there's not much of a space there. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line to create my border so there you go you can just see it there it's it's not even as wide as my pencil my pencil's sort of hanging off the edge so if I turn it round line it up and I'm going to do the same again okay if you want to do it freehand it's entirely up to you it's fine but for this one I, I just want to keep it um, straight we're not going to keep it straight but i want to keep the line straight just for now now do this lightly because this isn't going to be what you see at the end of the, the the tile this is just to sort of give you that framework okay oh hi everybody okay so i'm going to do the same again but i'm going to come in a little bit now so let's go yeah so i'm not so let's have a look it is about yeah, about as wide as my pencil. It's just to give you an idea of where I am. So I'm not measuring and it's not got to be exact. It's, uh, it just gives you an idea. And you see here, look, I've actually crossed it over there. So I've got this little square and the, the background there. And that's what we can do in every corner. All right, just lining it up. And there we go. Oh, welcome everybody. Hello. Hello. Is that Mar Mar oh, Marlies? That's a nice name, I heard that before. Welcome. Okay. I know Mary and Julie. Oh, Julie, that's lovely. Oh, I've done more. Look, see, I'm getting all carried away then. So there we go. I've got this. <laughs> oh, Bernadette. I know. But you know what? We can't have the good weather all the time, can we? You know, we've got to have a bit of rain, I suppose. Okay, what, I've, what have I done here? I've taken, oh, I'm Do you know, I always put that down to my, my, my teacher ways and you get some really unusual names and you, 
you really don't want to pronounce them unless you have to, but you have to give it a go, so I'm, I'm glad I got it right. Okay, so I've taken my space here and I've sort of split it down the center. I've not measured, I've just done it by eye, okay? And then the space that's here, let's have a look at that so you can see it, there you go. I'm gonna split that into three squares. Now you see that they all are sort of a similar size and I'll do the same here at the bottom. So that one and that one there, okay? Oh, oh hi Julie, hope you're feeling a bit better, hope you're recovering. There you go. All right, and then I'm gonna turn it round. Oh, can you Gracie? I think sometimes, yeah, I don't know, it's it's nice to have the mixture, I think, you know. It looks constantly hot. Oh, well, I don't have any summer clothes, really. A couple of t-shirts, because you like to have a, you like to have a whole new wardrobe last year. And it, of course, you know, you fill it with wintry, autumny stuff, don't you? And then you don't think you're gonna need t-shirts and shorts. So, I don't own a pair of shorts at the minute. And I did get rid of my lot, my others that were a little bit too big for me, so that's great news. <laughs> okay, so we've got this. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got eight to cross, and then of course it'll be the same all the way around. All right. Oh, <laughs> Karina. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start in the corners, and I'm going to come to. Let's, let's go a little bit larger so you can see what I'm doing. There you go. And I'm going to put um, a little bubble there, okay? And then I'm going to do one in the opposite corner too. All right? So I'm going to turn it round, being careful that I don't smudge the uh, the gel pen there. I just don't, and I'm going to do the same there. And then turn it round again. And those bubbles. And they say I'm actually going around it a couple of times. You don't have to. I think it's just um, as long as saying because I like drawing these little orbs. I like using these gel pens. Sometimes they take a little bit to get going, don't they? You've got to get the flow. There you are. Oh, hello. Good morning from New York. Good morning. That sounds really weird when we're like it's two o'clock in the afternoon. What? Good morning. Hello. Okay. So then I'm going to continue this and. I'm not going something in the centre, it doesn't really matter, see it's only a guide. So I'm going to put one here and then one here. So I'm sort of forming a zigzag type of shape. One there, and there, and there. Yeah, I see my pen still needs to sort of wake up a little bit. Okay, so I've got this zigzag going. All right. And then turning it again. And I'm going to repeat that sort of zigzaggy shape with those little bubbles there. Okay. Okay, if you're working with a cream tile and a black pen, you're going to do exactly the same thing. It's just that you're obviously working with that black micron or whatever it is you have. Oh, pink glitter. I think we need to see it. You can't just tell us and then not show us. No, oh, I bet that's nice. Pink, uh, we're all getting a bit of confidence there, aren't we? All doing really well. There you are. So I've got this sort of bit of a grid going with these dots. And it's only the dots we're concerned about now. The pencil lines that we did to start with, we don't need anymore. So, well, I'm not going to go and rub them out. I'm going to leave them because don't really need to worry about it. Okay. So you see I've come back to this. Oh, Vivian. <laughs> Maybe there's a bit in there that you could take out of it. Maybe even punch a little bit out somewhere. Okay. We've done this. When I say we've done this pattern before, we've done this technique where we've sort of gone around each bubble, so it's almost like a takeoff and a land, just to give us that lovely curve. All right, and then I'm gonna to go to this bubble when I finished on, and I'm gonna use that as my starting point, and down and round to this one. <clears throat> okay, so then this one, round it, 
and down. You see how it gives it that nice little curl? So we don't really want this straight, we want a little bit of shape to it. So again, and of course when you, if you are using a gel pen, you'll notice that it's, uh, it takes a little while to get it going and you know, you've got to sort of slow down with it a little bit. <coughs> Into that one, and then to that one. Oh, hi, Julie. How's things? There you go, and then across there. You see why we put the corner ones in first, just so we prepare. we've got something to aim for. And down and round this next one, and then to this one. I'm just going to keep following it, going around, following that same shape. From there to there. And then this one. And then this one. And then round there. Oh, too crazy. Yeah, do you know what? I have got a thing about the bubbles. I do like them. But I'm aware that I know there's some of you out there that do like the, the more structured tangle patterns. So I, I do try and merge them or mix them together so everybody gets a little bit of something that they like. There we go. And into that one. And around this one. Turning it round, and again, there's no rush with this, just enjoy working those curves, just doing that full take up and land, and I think especially with, if you're using a gel pen, it's quite shiny when it first starts, and it's nice to see that sheen on the top of the paper, and then as it dries, it just uh, pales just a little bit. Oh, it is Jill, isn't it? I do love it. There we go. So, shall we have a look at it so far? There you are. Nice little frame in its own right, but we are going to add a little bit more to it. So, are we ready for this next bit? Oh, okay. The wobbly pattern. <laughs> yeah, we like wobbly patterns. Okay. So, you see where you've got this sort of uh, valley shape where we've done this V here? In the section here, I'm going to create a little curve, okay? And again, filling it in with gel pen. Remember, you don't want to be going over it, so do it first time and leave it. But of course, if you're using your, your black pen, then go ahead and, and do that. And you see, I've just aurored or drawn around it twice, okay? Oh, hello, Alicia. And then I'm going to do it this side too. Filling that space in. And then this one, I'm not trying to match these lines up. I'm just taking each one as an individual. So then to this one. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, it, it does, doesn't it? And we don't always have sandpaper in the house or whatever, you can't find it. Sometimes it doesn't need that, that abrasive touch, it just a bit of paper does the job. And you can see that I'm just repeating it as I go down. So back to this one, just filling in that little space, and then one, two auras, and then into this one, and again, two auras. They don't have to touch, that's not what it's all about here. So then I'm going to turn my tile. Oh, hi Janet. And put one in here. Just fill it in. And then again, aura twice more. And then back to this one here. I'm just going to fill that section and then one, two. It's quite nice, isn't it? It's how it starts to build. We think we've We've just added a few curbs. I've not done anything really special with it. It's just building up those little shapes, isn't it? 
taking our time and then just working around the tiles. So I'm not even looking at the other, the rest of the tile and I just focus on that bit, the bit I'm working on at that time. Nothing else matters, not what's coming, that's what's going. And you know, yours is it's going to look different than mine because your spaces are going to be slightly different. You know, your bubbles are going to be a different size. And that's fine, that's absolutely fine because not one is going to be the same. Oh, hi Bridget. I know, do you know, I get a little bit like that sometimes with, with, with time because you get involved and you're doing a job or something and then you just sort of get lost in it. I've been packing all morning. Of course, then it's it's packing for creating craft, and it's packing for my own orders too. So I, I try and balance it. So uh, get that. Also, I've got two thirds of the creating craft orders going out this afternoon, and I've booked Hermes again for tomorrow for the uh, for the rest of them. And thank you so much, everybody, for ordering yesterday and I know there was some still outstanding from Thursday because I was I was in Peterborough so I, I'm I'm pleased to say I think uh, I think all of them from my shop now have been gone to the post office and they're they're over there now um, just having all the postage put on there and stuff so they'll be out to you soon. There we go. And there's you know, I, I discovered this pattern not not that long ago, actually. So, uh, I was one I thought quite like the idea of this. Oh, no problem, Sonia. I'm I'm glad it helped. So I didn't write instructions for the pencil box because uh, I knew everybody'd want to do something a bit different. So um, I thought just doing the stencil would give you a bit a bit of a starting point, but then you could pick any of the patterns that we've done so far really have a bit of fun with it there we go oh hey Sheila oh don't worry about it you, you're never late doesn't matter you catch up later but we're doing this uh, we're doing this new pattern I was saying I've not I discovered it not that long ago and, uh, and then you play with it a little bit and you try a few different things Oh, great, Susan, that's good. Marguerite, yes, uh, it is. Yes, it is. I'm just thinking now, because obviously I've packed everything, and because I, I sign them first, and I go through, and I just check everything's okay, and then I, then I, yeah, I have packed yours. Okay, there we go. So that's the first sort of part. Looks good, doesn't it? I'm liking the white, and it looks just as good, actually, if you do it in the black, too, so it doesn't really matter which one you're going to go with. Uh, Julie, have I? I'm not hundred percent certain, Julie. Did you? I I do do it in order. So if you if you ordered before the show or slightly at the beginning of the show, then yeah, I'd have got through them. Okay. So the next bit, I'm going to go a little bit larger here so you can see. Right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do an aura around the whole of the outside. You see when I get to those corners, I stop. Yeah. And so I'm getting those nice clean edges and just working around it, all right? Oh, Alicia, <laughs> oh, that sounds exciting. But that's okay. Everybody has their own take on things, and even though you're sitting watching something, you'll you know you find that it's uh, it's going to turn out a little bit differently. Well, that's that's fine. You don't always you don't always see what I see, so that's fine. There we go. Uh, Susan, I think so, Susan. Yeah, I think so. Definitely packed a parcel with your name on it this weekend. I mean, don't panic if not, because uh, as I say, I've, I've booked them again for tomorrow. So what what hasn't gone out today will go out 
tomorrow. I can't wait to have a go at those Christmas um, stencils. And that wreath is just lovely to do. Well, they're all lovely, like the Christmas tree, you know, the bell. Oh, they're just all lovely. I don't know which one you'd start with first, if I'm honest. And because they all work together as well, it's nice to have the, the two. There we go. And I'm just working my way around. There's something about, isn't there, doing an aura that you don't have to worry about it. You think, oh, well, I've already drawn it now. I'm just going to go around what's already there. And then it takes on a life of its own. It starts to grow and, and change shape. So, around there. Okay, let's have a look at that. Okay, look at that. Oh, is it Gracie? Did you see the one on, uh, on Facebook that I did with Pauline Wheeler's Hunky Dory stamp? One of the silhouette ones. It's, it just, it's just lovely. I, I've had the stamp for a few weeks and I've been wanting to do something with it. So it was just perfect. Okay, you can see now that I'm doing that aura again, but this time I'm on the inside. So I'm just working around just as before. Exactly the same. Oh, does look like fairy lights, doesn't it? It's lovely. Oh, thank you, Pat. I really enjoyed doing it. I really did. And of course, it's it's important that uh, that I keep up my practice in the Santango, isn't it? So I've got to try and uh, try and up the stakes now and again. Just keep you on your toes. There we go. See, I'm just continuing to work along and just auroring on the inside. Oh, Gracie, do they say when them stamps are going to be back in stock? I mean, there were a few, weren't there? There was a few different ones. I went for the, the star, I think it's the Stargazer one I had. Of course, we know that Pauline quite likes her sand tangle too. She's got her own tangle board and things. So that's lovely. It's nice when people, uh, you know, want to want to have a go. So that when they're crafting all the time, well, it's nice that they like what I'm doing. Oh, there we go. You see, I'm just following it round, just building up this design. Oh, look, let's have a look at that. There we go. Oh, look. It's really sweet, isn't it? Okay, deep breath, ready for the next bit. <sighs> going to go in a bit bigger now so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so you see because we've got these edges, we've, we've got these definite sort of fill-in spaces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and put that little bump in there again. And I'm going to fill it as I did before. And then aura, one, two, see? And then I've got another here. And then again, one, two. Now I could actually go in and, and do this corner as well if I want to, but I think for now I'm just gonna keep it with these ones here. But if you wanna add more in, then the, please feel free, go ahead. But I'm just gonna keep it with the, just those ones. They do, don't they? I thought fish. But, uh, it's, yeah, it's just a little, I just like the shape of it. Okay, done one on the corner there. Oh, no margarita, it's lovely. I mean, it's got essence of to the uh, love you to the moon and back, hasn't it? But it's just, it gives you so much more in those stencils. You've got the uh, that sort of ribbon wreath and all sorts that you can play with and you could add, you could mix and match it. But uh, yeah, I do like, uh, I do like doing those. You can see here, like I'm, I'm sort of taking the same section and I've left those corners. But as I say, if you if you want to fill it in, that's it's fine. Go ahead and fill it in. But, uh, I'm just going to go with the one and then 
and he goes that corner again. You see here, look, I've got I've got sort of two points, but I'm just going to stay with this one. And then all twice, and then the next one. And you see when I said about the pencil at the beginning, and we used it as straight lines, and then, but we're not we're not seeing it anymore because it, it's sort of gone. Oh yeah, Margarita, yeah, the Love You to the Moon's a, a kit, it's got stencils in it and instructions. It was um, it was a kit based on my my little shouty that passed away last June. It was, you know, and every time now I see somebody does that kit, certainly when they you know if they put like the little dog on the moon, it's it, it's nice, it makes me smile. There we go, you can see we're spilling it round. And again on that top. So imagine you could do a whole tile just with this pattern, couldn't you? And you could just keep going and keep going. Yeah. Oh yes, babe, it's lovely, isn't it? Okay, so we've got that section done. So I'm gonna do the same as I did before, and I'm gonna aura around that pattern now. So you can see that it's creating a totally different shape than what we had to start with. So I'm just doing the, the outside. Again, just turn it round. Just, just keep it comfortable. Turn it round as you go. Just uh, taking it nice and easy. There we go. And into that one. Oh, I will. Uh, Apologise in advance in case the doorbell goes, but I have shut the door today and we have moved the uh, the monitor thing to another section, so it shouldn't be too loud. It frightened me to death the other day when it went, because of course we are waiting for that Hermes courier. <laughs> no pressure then if it's on the large TV you can see every little speck can't you everything is... I'm just so glad that I just don't particularly put my face in on it because I could really do it with brushing my hair if that's the case yeah okay there we go now again as I say you, you know you could keep going you could go and, and add oh as I say it would be nice if I actually finished off the the aura, wouldn't it? Yeah, I've just got one more line to do. There you go. Just finishing around there. So you, you could, you know, do the same again and you could repeat and then add more. Or you could aura -ing. Yeah, I love that word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that phone. Yeah, I don't even know why that wrong. <laughs> So yeah, I, I could go on and, and do the inside and I could add more, but I think for a border, that's probably enough for me. I, I think of, uh, yeah, oh, if I, a new journal, oh, that's exciting. I love starting a new journal, it's great. Oh, anyway, okay, so we've done, we've done the border. Let's have a look at what we're gonna do on the inside. Now, I was a little bit torn with this and I'd tried a couple of things and I've, I have made my decision, so. Um, we're going to go with the with what I think is going to work. <laughs> I did, Julie. Yeah, is that going to stay or or your your hair or is it going to wash out? Or I think you're a right rebel. It's great. I don't know if you notice mine. Mine's um, blue black. Yeah. Okay. You can see here that I've I've gone here because I'm gonna I want to work on this point here, but I'm going to start. And I want to sort of work from here and come up bank or down bank, whatever suits, whatever's more comfortable for you. So I'm going to create a bit of a curve. It doesn't have to be a curve. I'm not going all the way to the end. There we go. All right. Oh, hey, Joe. Yeah, I thought I hadn't seen your name for a little while. But you're okay. And then let's do another. But you can see I've started 
quite thin, but I'm heading towards the top and it's coming to all, oh, it's coming to absolutely nothing, so they meet at the top. Okay? And then at the top here, I'm, I'm going to work on that in a little bit. So I'm going to start this side and I'm going to come up. Let's go a little bit larger so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. I'm going to come up and round and down. You see, got a bit of a loop there. Let's just thicken that up a bit. Okay. So I'm going to add a little sort of a line in there and I'm going to create this little, almost like a little head there. Okay. So then I'm not going to do another loop shape as such. I'm going to start about here. See about there. And I'm going to bring it down. And touch in there. And then again, there's that little line. I'm just going to bring it down. So it's wider at the top, so I'm going to fill it in. There's nothing at the bottom there. Okay. So let's do another one. So I'm going to start back here. And down. I'm just going to fill that bit there. And the same again. So it comes to nothing. And just fill that gap. And then another. And then another. So it's going to go underneath there. And then I'm just going to have that one there. And let's go back and add those little sections in. There we go. That one there. You're not really going to see one there. So let's have a look at that. Alright, looks a bit weird at the minute, but that's okay. So then I'm going to come back to the top here and I'm going to start here. Oh, let's go a bit larger so you can see what I'm doing, that helps. There you go. And I'm going to come up and round. See? And then again, I'm going to, about there, I'm going to bring it in and round. You see, so I'm not going to a point here. It's almost, I'm adding separate sections each time I'm just bringing it down to touch the same line there you go it does doesn't it yeah nice wing could be okay so then i'm going to go in and add those little lines again now if you want to do these as you go individually like we've just done before that's fine but if you want to draw your, your sections first and then put these in, it's, uh, it's nice to have the choice, isn't it? You can do whichever you like. Just filling that top section in. Just each time. Okay. All right, so remember this first curve that we did and we sort of came up and we stopped here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to extend it I'm going to add, I'm going to go a little bit slower, my pen's on, I want to go slow today, and I'm still going to come over, that's fine, you see, and I've got this curve going on, and then I'm going to thicken this curve up here, so there you go, I'm just filling in that section, and then I'm going to come around here and add a thicker section here, going to be easier to colour with your black pen than it is your, your gel, as we know. Okay. Alright, let's have a look at that. Alright. Okay. So I'm going to add another one of those in. So I'm going to go, this time I'm going to go this this side and I'm going to go Imagine it's from here, so it's going to come up and underneath and up there. And of course, it's nothing there, and it's just going to get a little bit wider. Imagine it going down there. And then just like before, I started at the top, and I'm going to come round and form that little loop shape. 
and then from about there down and round oh hi Charlene it's nice to have you yeah, I bet you are busy I bet you are Oh, it's nice that you've managed to catch us today. It's great. There you go. So I'm just working my way down just slightly for... Obviously, you're not going to quite see that bottom section. And then adding in those little sort of almost stem-like shapes, aren't they? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's very... That frame would, would look divine on quite a lot of things. You know, a little card with a sentiment in. I like doing those. Or even, uh, you know, even using the, you know, the Christmas ones. That'd be quite nice. The pine cone, the face with the pine cone. You could have some little holly leaves coming out. That'd be lovely. Okay, remember this curl that we did this way? Now, because my shape here is sort of going this way i'm going to follow it round just like before and put that curl in okay oh hey ruth oh no need to apologize just glad you could make it and join us yeah so i've just thickened up that section and then i'm going to choose this area here so this is great if you've not done um curve as, as round as you wanted it to you can go in and you can change it there you are I think yeah, I am going to have another one coming out here there you go so you're just going to see a little bit of that one and you know so this time I actually did it that way you can go whichever way you like so let's put that little loop in to start with and then work our way down. See, there's no right or wrong shape here. It's just sort of go with the flow. And start at the top and working your way around. And of course, you're not really going to see much of that one at all because it's hidden. So let's go in and add those extra little shapes. Oh, hi, Sandra. Now you, the beauty of this is you can play it back, can't you? You can uh, mute me if you want to and just play the bit you missed, it's fine. There you go. And another one there. That's going to go down there. Catch a little bit there too. Oh, no worries, Karen. Of course, looking at this one, it's sort of going this way. So, of course, your curl at the top is going to do the same it's going to follow through to there and then let's add a little bit of weight there you see and a little bit of weight there okay all right so what i'm going to do just just because i, I can i suppose i'm going to add Another here, not quite as large. I think it's nice to uh, build it a little bit, isn't it? There you go. And maybe just a little one coming off there. And then there's going to be others behind, so let's let's have another behind. Again, this is all going to depend on where your shapes are. Some of them are, you're going to be able to do this, and some of you think, actually, no, that's not going to work for me there. So we'll find a different space. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Then this could almost be like you know, some sort of seaweed, couldn't it? That'd be quite nice. Imagine doing, you know, adding a touch of uh, blue metallics and green metallics on here. It'd look nice. Bit of coloured pastel. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna do it a couple of or 
this in there. I think it just sort of brings it a little bit more texture, doesn't it? I'm not saying it's watery at all, but just like to add. You see now, I've gone over the the border in places because that original pencil line doesn't matter anymore. I say it was only a, a guide. I'm actually not sure whether I, you know, I want it from the top down, or quite like that that corner point, or from you know going up bank. It's <laughs> nice with the zinc. If you want to put a zinc in, you put a zinc in, Julie. It's entirely up to you. <laughs> okay, so shading. Now, you know, if your pencil lines are a little bit dark, you know that we started with here. And you want to get rid of them this would be the time to do it however you've got to make sure that um, all your whites dry because if you rub it and it's wet it's going to smudge everywhere so you need to just make sure of that yeah oh yeah June I suppose it does we have done something like this before we have yeah I have actually got um I've got the page here I'll have to have a look at it in a minute see if I can uh, I can show you Okay, so I'm now going to go in with my white pencil and again you, you want to be making sure that you just you can pick it up and if you can see a little bit of a sheen on your tile then it's not dry yet so you've got to give it a chance okay. However mine's, mine's okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to go in I'm starting in the, in the middle bits and you see where we did these shapes here I'm going to add some pencil just up that section. See a little bit more at this bottom end? Sort of same here. So up there and a bit more at the bottom end. So same again, a bit more at the bottom end and just working my way up. There goes. Something really nice about working with the, the white it's, um, on a black tile. Absolutely love it. And it's sort of this is when it's gonna start to come to life. Just just the same as with a cream tile. Of course, if you are working on a cream tile, then now you'd be working with your pencil. Um, your regular pencil. Okay, you see I've left the center. So now my tortillon, you notice on my tortillon, I have got the word white because you want a nice clean end. And then I'm gonna go in and from this bottom section, pull it up. See? I have to go in and swirl a little bit because, of course, working on the the black tile, it's a slightly different texture, so things don't travel as much as they do on the, the creamy tiles. So, but you, you want to keep just that section white, and you're leaving this bit here black. And again, if you're working on a cream tile, you'd be using your regular tortillon and. Uh, just repeating what I'm doing, but obviously you're getting, you know, the graphite colour rather than the white. There we go. Just pulling it out, but you want to be keeping that black section there. Okay. Same at the top. I'm going to keep it to that side, down that bottom end. Do you want to look at that? There you go. So same here, pulling it up this way, and then working my way round in. And there's a little bit of that one. Just working it round. Keeping that section there that's got no uh, no colour or no pencil, no chalk, no white on it, no black on it if you're using the, the graphite pencil. Okay. Alright. Oh, look at that. Alright. Back into that white pencil. 
and I'm gonna do the same on these on the little shapes too so same sort of thing a little bit more in that bottom area but then taking it up the line that we drew same with that one and we're just going to leave that in the center there with no the pencil at all okay and then let's just smooth that in It's almost ghostly, isn't it, when you start adding this to it? Just sort of like a little bit fog like. And then before you know it, you, you've got something that's totally different than what you would normally have with your white tile. Just keep working around. See, I'm just swirling so gently because I, I don't really want any. And those sections, I want, I want that contrast. Okay. So let's turn it round. And let's do this one. So again, the white, quite a bit there. And then just a little bit coming up those outer lines that I started with. Straight over that, that's fine. Just taking care to you know, go round that shape. Oh, did you, Sheila? <laughs> it just becomes a way of life, doesn't it? Before you know it, and then you start to see tangles everywhere. Yes, it's when you start discussing somebody else's shirt when you're, in, you know, when you're in the queue, and they're like, "What are you talking about?" About the other no shirt, actually. It's a nice conversation starter. I suppose it's something you could do whilst you're in the queue. Yeah, okay. okay, so that's that section. Now you can see, looking up the, the centre point there, you can see that there is a little bit of sort of the pastel and the white there. So I can just go in with <laughs> my pen and I'm just going to clean up those edges a little bit. See? Now if you, um, you're you using a cream tile and a black pen, you can still do this with the black pen and you can go in and, and fill it in. Just gives it that little bit of drama in that look and allows you to go in and just make some slight amendments if you need to. Okay. Maybe I didn't want to make that one but I do now. There you go. And this one, so just up there, and into there. Okay, let's have a look at that. Oh, it is, isn't it? It's just lovely. So obviously we're not we're not quite finished with our white yet. I just went in and wanted to clean that up as we were going. Uh, I'm just going to add a, a touch. Oh, let's go a little bit larger so you can actually see it. Oh, yeah, you could, yeah. You could tangle on your chairs. You see, I'm doing my smirk, but I'm doing it outside that little bubble. Only on the larger ones. I'm not going to worry about those little ones. You see, just outside. And then let's go in and shape it up a bit. Okay. Oh, I am doing um, an evening tangle session uh, is it first Tuesday in July on a Facebook page that's Royal Talons T-A-L-E-N-S Royal Talons so that's going to be another 7 o'clock one it's similar to ones I've done on the craft show Facebook page but I thought if you're uh, if you're around at that time then it's just an extra one if you want to that you can uh, you can watch I haven't decided fully what I'm doing yet but it's always nice to know, isn't it? Okay, so that's how, how we're sort of going there. You can see we've got these little sort of, oh, it helps if I do that one. Little sort of glows we're going, there we go. 
So then border. I'm not going to go in and do much with the border at all. I'm, I'm going to go around the inside. And again, I'm, I'm being quite light here because I say it, it's uh, it, it's a little bit trickier to, to get that blend on the, the black tile. But I, I want to have that border sorted out. So I might actually could even go in and add, uh, add a bit of some gel or some silver metallic or something there, couldn't I, in a little while. But still, I'm quite conscious that, you know, you can add a lot of things in if you want to, but not everybody's got everything. And sometimes you want to just keep it simple and just work with what you've got. So I don't want to sort of throw everything at it and you think, well, I can't, I can't do that, I haven't got it. So, but if you've got it and you want to add extra bits and pieces then, and you have been doing, by all means, go ahead. You know, knock yourself out. Go for it. Okay. Oh, is it, Joe? Well, you'll be having a party then, so... Yeah. I'm sure. I hope it'll be a nice, warm, sunny day so you can you know, maybe sit outside and have a nice glass of wine. There you go. So you can see now, I'm not trying to sort of push that into the tile at all. I'm just going around and, and swirling. Just to, it's softening all the edge up, but it's giving it that little that sort of foggy appeal again, isn't it? It's got a little glow to it as you're working your way around. But there I can press on, I can have quite a bit of pressure, but as you sort of get further out, if you need to, then just ease off on the pressure a little bit and uh, it'll fade and that's what we want, we want it to fade. Yeah. Just turn in your tile as you go. Oh Joe. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, we've actually got to go and find some patio furniture because if you've been watching a lot of these you know that I've you know garden we've had some artificial grass and patio down and stuff uh, but we've got we can't sit in here because we've got nothing to sit on <laughs> could just sit on the slabs I suppose but yeah oh yeah of course <laughs> oh, I love that film I'm quite a Disney buff and Pixar, of course. Anything like that, I love. Must have been to Disney quite a few times, actually. Just do love the atmosphere there. It's fabulous. A lot of people there, I think, isn't it? For many, certainly. Okay. So back in with my black pen, I did get a little bit carried away here, look. And I did go into my pattern, so I can just go in and... Sort that out. There we go. But you can see, oh, which way am I going? Come on now. Where I've got these bubbles, I want to, I want to keep them black. So I'm just going back in and add it. Now, if you're on a cream tile, you could go in and add a white pen. And then you just change your change your dots so they've got. The whites, well, if you want to leave them, that's fine. Just, I think I wanted them to stand out a little bit more. That was all. There we go. All right, let's have a look at that then. All right, okay. Now, I quite like the black background there. I think it's, it's really quite nice. So I'm going to leave that. But if you've worked this on a cream tile then you might decide that you want to actually colour in the outside all in black that looks quite uh, it's quite nice that I might even just go in and you know define that line there and separate the one from the other this is where you can you know you can look back a bit and think actually let's have a look at what we're doing here where is this going you know, all, all the work's been done now and this is just how you feel about it. Okay, I'm 
that's it. Look at that. It just brings that out to the front a little bit. Oh, you're welcome, Tracy. There we go. So the only thing left to do now with this one is to actually sign it, isn't it? So, do you sign it inside? Do you sign it outside? Um, of course, I'm going to go in with the pen here. Let's have a look. I'm going to put it it in one of these little sections here and of course you can put it into your tile completely and add it as part of the pattern if you want to there we go i'm just going to put my initials there so i do have as i've got a page and i've got some of this um let me just find that page there there we go it's got a little bit of, of a hint of that and you, it's not got the, the border but it's got this pattern on the inside and if I just show you that one, so you imagine that's the black one. You can see there that you've got it when it's not, and you've got a few more of these little curls. So it's it's very similar, isn't it? But of course, then I've, if I show you the um, page there, there you go. I got a bit carried away with it. So that that's it. But you can see it's very sort of straight. And you see the pattern we've used today. That it's actually all filled around here. So it works, it works quite nicer than the other one there, it's quite nice too. But there's lots of things that you can work with, but you know, whether you've done it in the black on the, or on the white, it really doesn't matter. It's whatever, whatever you've got and whatever you, you feel like at the time. So I'm sure it will, Nadia, it'll be, it'll be lovely, it really will. Just go for it. Do you know what, the, the hardest thing is actually picking a pen up and trying it. There's a lot that do say to me, oh, I will try it someday, or I can't do it, or oh, I ain't got time. Do you know what? Just pick a pen up and just have a go. And honestly, it's, it's so relaxing. Even if you think, I can't do it the first time round, just give it a go and try it and, and just pick it up, put it down, and try a few things. And if one pattern won't work, try another. Don't expect it to be perfect first time. But, but who's to say what is perfect? What What is perfect? We're all different, aren't we? So just enjoy it. Just enjoy the process. Have fun with it. Don't worry about the end result. And just see what comes. So I will leave you with that. That got a bit deep, didn't it? <laughs> but yeah, I'll leave you with that. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, Sue, oh, I think so, Sue, yeah. Um, have you had a look on my website? <laughs> I know it's Murphy, that's how uh, but yeah um, I'll have a look on my website if there, are, if there are a few on the shelves that I made up the other day so they are definitely there but I'll just check to make sure that there are some actually uh, loaded if not I'll put them on for you but yeah um, enjoy the rest of your day and all being well we will see you again on Wednesday at 2 o'clock gosh will that be July Yes, it'll be July, won't it? All right, well, everybody stay safe till then um, and enjoy, even though the weather's not so good. And enjoy the day. I'm sure we'll find something good in it. And I'll speak to you Wednesday. All right, you take care, everybody. Bye.